Well, we make sure that our students get experience doing field work in all the years of their degree. Um, so in, in at level one, uh, very early on, we take everybody away for a weekend, um, which gets you out there in the real world doing um, practical physical geography straight away. It also is a fantastic way of meeting your new friends, meeting the other people on the course. Um, I also teach on the Alps field trip, which runs in the second year. So we go away to the Austrian Alps, stay in, Al in an Alpine um, hotel for a week. And every day we uh, walk down onto the Braid Plain, which is the big river system running out of the front of the glacier. And we study different aspects of that environment. So one day you might be walking up onto the glacier, um, studying crevasses and how, the, how, how different um, features affect the melting of the glacier. Another day you might be studying the way that vegetation recolonizes an area uh, over which a glacier has been retreating. So you can do vegetation surveys from the snout of the glacier down the valley to see how different vegetation uh, species uh, are, are introduced and colonised over time. Um, and in other days, the days that I'm most involved in, you might be looking actually at the river itself, so looking at its chemical and physical properties and looking at the life in the river and working out how those two things interact. Um, then at level three, you have the opportunity to do a big international field trip. At the moment, we're alternating between West Greenland in one year and then New Zealand the next. Now, I was fortunate enough to go to New Zealand uh, just a couple of months ago, and uh, I have to say it's an absolutely spectacular field trip. The scenery is amazing. Until you've really seen fresh glaciation on a large scale, uh, it's hard to really get a feel for, for all of those glacial geomorphology um, things that you learn about both at school and at university. Um, and, and we also on that trip do some vegetation sampling. We also look at stream chemistry and biology um, just in a, in a landscape that's much more active uh, on, a, on a much larger scale than anything we see in the UK. Um, in my first year, I've been on, within a month I was on a weekend away with my fellow course mates um, doing field work but it was a great way for everyone to get to know each other, get to know your lecturers, um, pull together as a team and learn new skills based around the field. In second year BSc Geography you have loads of opportunities for field trips and one of the best field trips is probably one with, with geomorphology where you actually get to go out to Upper Wharfdale and you get to work in the field and one of the best aspects of that is that you get to learn how to use the equipment which you wouldn't do in a lecture theatre and you, it's a fantastic opportunity to work in a group as well so you learn transferable skills that are fundamental to the real working world and I think that's the most important thing you can gain from it. Throughout my degree, there's been loads of opportunities to go on field trips uh, within and outside the UK. So I've been to places in the UK like Boggle Hole and the Yorkshire Dales, but I've also been further afield. So I've been to this event in the south of France to look at peat bogs. And this Christmas, I went to New Zealand for two weeks uh, for a field trip in working with a lecturer in the field. And uh, then after that, I managed to get in a week or two's traveling as well, which was really fun. <laughs> <laughs>